Hi, I'm Jackie Van Riller, creator of the Flow Method. This method is designed to help you stay vibrantly healthy, have radiant skin, and to feel and perform better in every area of your life. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about stress, aging, and beauty, and how you can age without growing old. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about um, how stress affects your body and how you can turn that stress response off to get your body into that heal and repair mode that actually makes you feel healthier, look healthier, and just live a healthier life in general. So the first thing that we wanna talk about is being in balance. And the goal in our bodies is to feel in balance, and that is to be free from stress um, that happens through emotional causes, mental causes, physical, spiritual, or even psychological issues. So when we think about stress, we store our stress in our nervous system, and particularly in our autonomic nervous system. And the autonomic nervous system is the part of the nervous system that does all the things in your body without you even thinking about it. So this is your digestion, your breathing, your heartbeat, your circulation, all those things that you don't have to say, um, you know, you don't have to think about your heartbeat and it just does it. So the autonomic nervous system is composed of two parts. We have the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. So the sympathetic nervous system is your body's fight or flight response, and the parasympathetic is the rest and digest. You've probably heard this before. But the fight or flight response is when your body perceives that you're in danger. And so originally, um, this was perceived if you were to be like chased by a bear or a lion or something like that, your body would want to immediately go into this fight or flight mode because you want to get out of that dangerous situation. Nowadays, we don't have those same dangerous situations. So our body goes into the fight or flight mode when we perceive other types of stress like work stress or um, relationship stress or things like that, that we, we, our body thinks that we're in danger, even though obviously we're not in physical danger, but it, it puts us in this emotional danger or, um, or whatever it is. So the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight, when it is activated, so our body perceives this danger, we're walking down a dark alley and we hear footsteps, what happens is um, our pulse and our blood pressure increase because we're trying to pump the blood um, throughout the body so we can get away, right? Um, our pupils dilate, so we become single focused on how do I get out of this situation? So if you're in a dark alley and you hear footsteps behind you, you're not gonna look at all the graffiti around you and go, oh, I really love that one. You're gonna be like, how do I get out of this alley now? Right, so you're single focused, your pupils are dilated and you are focused on getting out of there. Your metabolism increases so that you have more energy. So you need that energy to run, to fight, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, you release glucose into your blood so that you have the sugar needed to provide that energy to your muscles. Um, your muscles become tense. So your shoulders become tense, your arms become tense, your legs become tense, your hips, hips become tense. So you can see that if you're in this state for a long time, this is where you get continued shoulder tension where your shoulders are up to here or hip tension where you have um, end up getting sciatica or other hip issues, um, low back pain, things like that. You get decreased blood flow to your digestive system. So this means that all the blood is being shunted away from digestion because you're not worried about digesting right now, you're just worried about getting out of the situation. Your bladder relaxes, so you have to pee more. You're going to the bathroom more because um, your bladder is relaxed, and so that's that fear state. Whenever you're in that fear state, you may feel like you have to use the bathroom more often. Um, blood flow to the heart, large muscles, and the brain increase. Um, your stomach acid, um, and saliva and digestive enzymes all decrease. So those are what happens when you're in that fight or flight mode. So when your body is in the fight or flight mode way too much, or you can't shut it off, this is where you begin to get these um, minor aches and pains in your body. Um, oftentimes you may hear yourself or other people saying, oh, I'm just getting old because I have back pain or shoulder pain or headaches or eye tension, insomnia, fatigue, dizziness, appetite disturbances, stomach or digestive issues, um, issues with your menstrual cycle or um, any sort of hormonal imbalance are all caused when you're in that fight or flight mode too much and your body's not able to do all the things that it needs to do naturally. So these are the symptoms that you're going to get before you get that diagnosis of the autoimmune disease, the food allergy, 
chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, the heart attack, the stroke, the cancer, or any of these like chronic diseases. Um, oftentimes you just start with these, these things I like to call the check engine lights or the, of your body or the little, the little annoyances that you're like, ah, I'm just getting old, no worries. But what really happens is you don't have to have any of these symptoms. Um, if your body is properly working and, and dealing with stress, you won't have any aches and pains. You know, the things that you have will be minor and, um, and very, um, you know, short lived. So all these things also show up on your face. So if you have, you know, chronically high blood pressure, you may notice that you have a flushed face so your face is red frequently. If you have digestive issues, you might have some puffiness or irritation or even just like hyperpigmentation kind of in this lower cheek area. Um, lung issues can show up on the cheeks as like rosacea or sensitive skin, broken capillaries. Um, on the forehead, stress can show up um, as lines or bumps and anxiety often shows up as bumpiness kind of in this area of the forehead or the whole forehead. So all these things do show up on your face. Sometimes they're super subtle and uh, sometimes they are more pronounced. So you may have acne or breakouts or things like that according to the parts of your face that are associated with the areas of your body that you um, are carrying stress. So now if this continued stress, if this um, fight or flight response stays turned on, then your body's gonna be overproducing cortisol um, and adrenaline. And these are two stress hormones um, that the body produces to help reduce inflammation. So cortisol reduces inflammation and it depresses the um, immune system. So when your body's overproducing cortisol, your immune system gets suppressed. And when your immune system is depressed, your body's not killing viruses, bacteria, cancer cells and the things that should not be in your body. So you're more prone to get chronic disease and acute disease. Um, and when cortisol is being pumped through your body, your body ignores things like sleeping, digesting and reproducing. So all of a sudden you have a low libido, you're not sleeping at night, so you're tired all day and your digestion is all wacky. So you have things like leaky gut, SIBO, irritable bowel syndrome, um, diverticulitis and all these things show up and those are all um, stress related. So instead, when your body's in this cortisol producing mood, it's focused on running, breathing, but not effectively. So you're breathing, taking in shorter, um, shorter breaths, you're not breathing deeply. Thinking, so you have all this blood flow going to your brain, and what happens is your mind goes into this mind chatter or this monkey mind. And so instead of thinking effectively, you just have these thoughts sprewing through your head, and then that's when you you know, go outside to get the mail, but then you get distracted and you come back inside and then you're like, what did I go outside for? Oh yeah, I had to go get the mail. And then you do that three or four times before you finally actually accomplish what you want to accomplish. So this is where um, you become very unfocused, you get some brain fog, you just feel like your brain isn't working effectively. Um, so if you have chronically high cortisol levels, it can lead to things like high blood pressure, flushed face, muscle weakness, increased thirst, increased um, need to urinate. Um, and that would be like that getting up in the middle of the night three or four times to go to the bathroom. Mood changes like depression, irritability, anger, anxiety, um, rapid weight gain, especially in your ab abdominal area is all related to cortisol. Um, osteoporosis, so the cortisol does weaken your bones and your teeth. It can lead to hair loss and it can lead to um, your body's, um, your thyroid being messed up. So when cortisol is being over-released, your body doesn't, the receptors for hormones don't, um, aren't working as effectively and so you'll, you'll discover hormone, hormonal changes and um, problems with your endocrine system. So your cortisol should be highest in the morning. So when you wake up, you should get a little um, surge of cortisol and that gives you some energy to get started through the day. However, if your cortisol levels are high and they're being secreted throughout the day, what happens is that um, you can't sleep at night because you have higher cortisol at night, your body's trying to give you all this energy. And then in the morning when the cortisol is supposed to be high, it's actually low. So then you're awake all night, you fall asleep in the morning, then you have to get up and go to work and then you're exhausted all day. And then you're just repeating that cycle over and over and over again. 
So there is a way to turn off the stress response. And this is what the flow method is all about. It's really about getting your body into this parasympathetic nervous system where your body does its best job of healing and um, repairing itself and doing all the autonomic functions that keep your body healthy and young and uh, looking youthful. So the parasympathetic nervous system is the opposite of the fight or flight. It's the rest and digest, also known as the feed and breed. Um, or the breathe and breed. I've also heard it called that. And this is activated by um, relaxation, connection, intimacy, feelings of love, and a sense of belonging. So the parasympathetic, when the, when the body's in the parasympathetic nervous system, the pupils constrict and you see the bigger picture. So in the sympathetic, you just saw it, we're single focused. When you see the bigger picture, it's like you're noticing all the beauty around you in the world. This is where um, this is where you start to like synchronicity start to happen in your life, where you start to um, you meet the people that you need to meet for the advancements in your career, or you like suddenly you just notice that things are just kind of all going your way or falling into place, and it's because your mind is open to seeing these things. It's not that they're not happening when you're in that stress mode. It's just that you're not seeing them because you have such a uh, single focus. So when you have the broader picture, not only are you seeing the more, more of the beauty of the world, but you're seeing all the opportunities and all the people that are there to help you. Um, you have increased saliva, and saliva is the very first part of the digestive process. So as you're chewing your food and making saliva, this is what's beginning to break down that food and start that digestive process. Your respiratory rate decreases, but that means that you're also breathing more deeply. So you're taking a deep breath and really expanding your chest, and that's allowing oxygen and blood flow to go all the way throughout your body instead of just to the areas that it needs it. So then your digestive system is getting more oxygen, your reproductive system, your brain, um, all these things are just getting all the oxygen and the nutrients that they need. Your heartbeat slows down, which allows your circulation to, um, to improve. So you're getting more circulation to your hands and to your feet, and of course to your digestive system and all those areas that need, need that, um, that blood flow and that oxygen. Your stomach activity increases, so you may hear more gurgling. And this is one of the things that I first notice with most of my clients when I work with them. They get them on the table, they get deeply into that deep sense of relaxation, and all of a sudden their stomach starts gurgling. And it probably hasn't been doing that much because their digestion is poor when they're in this stress response. The bladder constricts, which allows it to fill and hold more urine. Um, and then you get decreased UTIs, um, you're not getting up at night, not waking up at night to go to the bathroom, and so you just feel um, like you're spending less time in the bathroom, which is always nice. Um, your blood flow to your um, genitals increases, which means that you're going to have a higher libido and um, more of a sex drive. So it's only when your body can get into this relaxed state that it can heal and repair itself. So when you're in the stress state, your body wants to do those things, but it's not getting the correct blood flow oxygen to the, to the proper things. And so then you develop things like leaky gut and um, chronic disease and those types of things. So anything that reduces the stress response and elicits an elax a relaxation response will allow the body to heal itself. So when you get into this state frequently or, um, or deeply, this allows the body to shut down that flight or flight or that stress response and get into this, um, this relaxation state where the body is increasing your immunity, improving your digestion, allowing you to breathe deeply. And as you're doing all this stuff, this all starts to show up on your face as well. Um, oftentimes, most of my clients say, well, I, my face really aged so much when I got sick or when I went through that divorce or when I changed jobs or whatever it was. And so when you are able to get the body into that relaxation state on a regular basis, it really helps the skin to look younger, healthier, and then all those skin problems that you've had begin to disappear. So the flow method is about that deep relaxation and then also sending really calming relaxing signals throughout the body. And this activates your body's ability to heal and repair itself. And it gives you a sense of feeling calm, focused, relaxed, and happy. So if this is something that you would love for your body, I would love to invite you to one of our introductory classes where you can experience this treatment for yourself, as well as um, help to recognize what are the things going on in your body that 
need to be repaired in order to prevent disease and to prevent aging. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot of information out of it, and I look forward to seeing you soon.